everyone, it's Ebony and welcome to M Fashion. Today, I have another Savage Fenty haul for you. This time it's giving more fall holiday season. Surprisingly, my last Savage Fenty video blew up a little bit, so internet, do what you do. If you're interested in knowing about the specifics on Savage Fenty, the logistics like shipping, returns, things like that, go ahead and check out my first Savage Fenty haul video. That's where you're gonna get that information. This video, however, I'm just going to be showing you the stuff I got. Um, a lot of the pieces come from the latest fashion show that uh, Rihanna put on Amazon. And so you'll see some of those pieces as well as some that have been up and that's, you know, more fall friendly. And of course, before we hop straight into it, you already know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and click the bell button to know when my videos drop. All right, y'all, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so we're starting with the Romantic Corded Lace Teddy and Garter Skirt set. Now I'm rocking a 3X in both. It is very form-fitting, um, but there is some stretch. I have to admit that it was difficult to put the teddy on at first, but once I got it on, it's very comfortable. I can move in it. I absolutely love the color. It's in the color laid back, and it comes in another color. But it does have a lot of stretch. This is where the skirt hits in the back, and I love the garter straps as well. The cutouts are my favorite, and there's a little padding in the bra, so it's really cute. Next, we have the Savage and Satin Jaguar Long Robe. Now, um, this is from the men's section, and this is in the 3X. Obviously, Savage likes to advertise most of their stuff unisex, so it doesn't really matter. That's why I picked it up. I love the color. I think it's great for holiday season. Um, it has a nice satin finish, and I love the print in the front. It looks very luxurious, and um, it comes with its own belt, maxi length. Um, my only issue is it's not big enough. Um, I like my robes, I don't know about you, but I like my robes to fully cover my body. Um, I don't like it to be barely covering. And since the measurements were supposed to be a little bit bigger, I was hoping for a better fit, but here we are. Next, we have the A Peek Behind the Lace Maxi Slip. I am wearing this in the 3X, and it is form-fitting. Um, it does feel like there's some decent stretch, but I don't feel that it's big enough per se for me to try to like force this more closed. Because when I see it on the model, the openings are a little more closer together. I do love the design at the top of the um, slip, uh, like the lace openings. I think that's cute. And I think the concept overall is really cute but we need another size. Um, yes, I could wear this as is, but I would like it to look better on me, so let's build up that size range. Next, we have a peek behind the lace cami and sleeve short set. I'm rocking both of these pieces in a 3X, and um, I actually like the color. Uh, that's the reason why I picked it. I think it also comes in black too. And just like the last slip, they have the nice lace um, details, which I love. Um, it does have decent stretch, but it fits nothing like it fits on the model. On the model, there is some room, and that's how I wanted it to fit on me. But it's kind of fitting on me more like a bodysuit. And the material is a bit sheer, like not regular sheer, but like it's a bit see-through. You can see the top is tucked in. And there's an opening in the back, so beware of that. You can cover it up with the top, but I'm just letting you know. Might get a surprise in the back. But yeah, just wanted this bigger. Next, we have the CLF Racerback Robe. I'm rocking this in a 3X. And the fabric is soft. I love the Racerback detail in the back. I think that's cute. It does close, but it closes similarly to the green robe that I showed earlier, even though it has stretch, unlike the other robe, which is telling me this needs to be bigger. <laughs> um, but the sleeves are nice and loose, like it fits, or 
I should say it feels comfortable, but it doesn't fit the way that I would like it to because I like my robes to close, as I said earlier. So you know I have to save the best for last. We have the pleated lame bando bralette and short set. And I'm rocking a 3X in both of these. Now, it actually has a nice flair to it. The bralette has like a insert to keep the girls together. So it's not just hanging. Um, I love the sway. I love the metallic finish. And it's stretchy enough in the places that matter where I can wear this comfortably and live my life. It also has like a button closure in the back. So I just slipped it right on, to be honest. I didn't even have to button and unbutton. Um, so I felt like this had a good amount of room for the sizing. Hey y'all, so I just popped in real quick to talk about some of the pieces that I got in the haul that I just could not put on. So yeah, the leather tees, vinyl, bando, bralette. Yeah, um, it looks like it would work, especially since there is elastic in the band. And the concept's really cool. I love the color and the finish, but it's just way too tight. Like, I couldn't put it on to save my life. There's three buttons in the bag, and I tried it two ways. I tried putting it on and then buttoning it up, or, um, you know, just keeping it buttoned and then put it on, or button in the front and switch it over. It just wasn't working for me. It's just too tight. Um, and that's the 3X. So um, if you're someone who has a body type like mine and you wanted to try that out, um, it's probably gonna be a no-go. Next thing that didn't work out was the Coastal Stripe Sleep Shirt. I figure it wouldn't because it's woven, there's no stretch, but I was hoping that it was gonna have a roomier, more loose fit because it's a night shirt. Unfortunately, I couldn't even attempt to put this on. It was very restrictive and I didn't want to rip it. So yeah, it was a no-go for me. And I, that was also in the 3X. Lastly, the pleated skirt, um, the silver one, it's really cute. I thought it wasn't gonna work. I feel like it could have used a little more, um, I don't know, coverage on the side for me in particular, but it was doable. It's just, you know, I prefer the shorts a lot more. And that piece was also in a 3X. I hope you guys liked everything that I presented today, like the information I gave for each piece. I hope it was super informative um, as someone who is on the very end spectrum of the size range at Fenty. Overall, I thought a lot of the pieces were really cute. Um, I love the silver pieces. I think that's really cute and it kind of gives a futuristic look to it. But I guess the moral of the story for me is going to be please extend the size range. I love that the Fenty brand gives us inclusive branding, marketing. Um, even the fashion show, I thought it was cute. We had a lot of cute plus size models and dancers doing their thing. But I think the Fenty brand has definitely made enough money and has been out for enough time to extend the size range legitimately. And I would say that for the men and women section, because if I can't even wrap a male's 3X robe around me um, easily or comfortably and it stay closed, then I think we should think about extending it. But overall, I think that Fenty stays pretty affordable, especially if you're a VIP member. And I think compared to their competitors, <laughs> Victoria's Secret, they are a lot more creative, definitely a lot more edgy, and a lot more inclusive. But there's always room for more. So guys, as usual, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video to people you think might be interested. Follow me on my social media so we can be friends. And I'll see you next time. Bye.